Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Redan. So today I figured I'll upload yet another video on this channel because as promised, I want to make more videos on this channel. I guess to be more specifically, be more frequent. Yeah, that's it. Be more frequent with these videos. I'll post a link down below for my second channel in the description box along with Elf's as well. I'll be talking about movies and such and he'll be doing some video game content if that's your cup of tea. So I'll be reviewing the sequel, yes, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. So of course, I just thought I would talk about this because as a common rule for me, if I speak about one entry of the franchise, I might as well talk about all of, the, all of them. Unless there's like a specific reason not to, but that's my general rule of thumb. And yes, of course, this was directed by none other than, of course, James Cameron himself. So yes, I know I didn't touch upon his movies all that often really because I really don't care for his work most of the time but yeah I know on my other channel which again I will post a link down below I'm usually trashing his work like most of the time but anyway I just I know he's known for the special effects like this movie is this film Terminator 2 definitely helped out to advance special effects and that's fine but unlike the Avatar movies, this one actually manages to have a good plot to it, so that's something. Anyway, of course, like always, let's talk about the damn plot, shall we? So here we go. So of course, in this one, it's pretty much, I guess, if I talk about it in a general sense, it's a pretty much a battle for humanity's salvation, so to speak. As this movie is pretty much a battle for the future of humanity continues in this sci-fi epic action-packed sequel. So it's essentially around this idea that, of course, there's a new, there's another Terminator out. There's a new Terminator that's trying to pretty much kill this individual, this kid, of course. A cyborg identical to the one who failed to kill Sarah Connor in the first film must now protect the child, John from this even more advanced, powerful cyborg. And this for, of course, the cyborg is even able to pretty much melt and whatnot, or how we even say, is you got a liquid metal, like as if it was even possible. So there you go. Well, you do have to ump the antique somehow, make the villain more powerful in some kind of way. So of course, this time around, this Terminator is the hero. He's the good guy. He has to learn how to pretty much protect humanity instead of trying to end it, of course. And yes, obviously, this highly advanced kill machine goes back in time to kill the future leader of the human resistance, John Connor, when he's a child. The resistance sends back a less advanced program tomator to protect Connor and as an attempt to ensure the safety of humanity. Well, at least in hopes, anyway. So, of course, yes, obviously, in the future, Earth has been ravaged by this war of these violent, highly intentional machines. And yes, it has something to do with the organization. This organization that built these machines may be mentioned in the film, but in the past, I guess you can say, Skynet and whatnot. Skynet sends the T-1000, an advanced prototype, shape-shifting Terminator made of this pretty much virtually indestructible melted liquid metal type of thing back in time as an attempt to kill the resistance leader as mentioned a moment ago when he's only a child. To protect Connor, resistance sends back the this kind of machine that may not be as advanced but as an attempt to protect. So in the year 1995, of course, you can see that John's mother, Sarah, yes, she's definitely back, of course. And she's pretty much in this state hospital for her violent efforts to prevent Judgment Day. Yeah, it's just like a whole bit where she's trying to warn everybody about what's going to happen. She has these visions or whatever, which she would continue to have throughout the film. But, of course, everybody's acting as if she's a nutcase. Everybody keeps acting as if she's crazy for, for even mentioning this. But, of course, the Terminator she thought she got rid of in the first movie makes a return. Her, she, her son goes to that very place, this hospital, with the Terminator that looks just like the other one from the first film, 
and she's completely shocked. She's surprised, like, holy shit, this thing's still alive, it's still here, and like, she's completely unknowingly shocked. So she's just, just surprised about what's going to happen. And she, th she thought it's still going to happen, of course, but as it revealed, she has to learn that this is the, the good Terminator. She, she is surprised that this one actually help, is here to help her, of course, to fight the other one. Yes, of course, I just had to mention this film. This is the second entry of the Terminator franchise. And the Terminator, the first one, is considered to be a great success. So, of course, the sequel had to be done as soon as possible, obviously. So, this was done, obviously. So, Terminator 2 was considered a T2 or Terminator 2. Pretty much became the highest grossing film of 91 worldwide. And a third grossing film of its time, so that's definitely, is something we'll definitely say, okay, it's worth deserved, I would definitely say that, and I do believe that this is how you do a proper sequel, this is how you should do a sequel, you ump the ante, you make it more crazier, you make it more action-packed, you make it more of what the first one was, or adding to what was already previously established, this film does that perfectly, and I don't say that often, because sequels are usually terrible, so this is one of those rare occasions well, it does everything just right. So I really like this one. Even though I'm not really a fan of action movies, really, or mainstream films in general, I guess you would say. I do think that there is a certain eeriness to it, kind of like horror is, at least to some extent, in a way. It's mostly action, obviously. But this is definitely a really good film as a whole. And I really highly recommend this film for, every, for anyone who has not seen it as of yet. It's action-packed and it's really well made. Good CJ and good storytelling. I'll give this film a Nova rating of a 7.4 out of 10. It's a 7.4 out of 10 for me. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah, later.